video is about percentages so I'm going to start with some non-calculated stuff how do you work out 1% and 10% of 615 because those two crucial things will help you work out percentage any sort of percentage you want okay so 1% of 615 all you do is move the decimal point two places because 1% means 100th and to work out 100th on something you just divide it by 100 obviously anyway and to work out 10% well, you just basically just divide it by 10. Yeah, um, so move it to some point one place instead. Okay, uh, if you want a reason for that, well, you could take, think about it the long way. You could say, well, 1% is that, so 10% is 10 times that, which basically moves the decimal point one place forward. But if you want to, rather than going 1, 2, and then 1 step back, you just go 1 step back in the first place. Anyway, so that's how to work out 10%. Just move the decimal point one place. Um, and once you know 1% and 10%, you can work out all sorts of percentages like, for example, 20%. Uh, if I've worked out 10% already, which is 61.5, 10 percent of 615, by the way, um, is 61.5, then 20% of 615 would be double that, which is 123 and I can work out 21% if I wanted to I could work out so now I've worked out 20% I could work out 21% because I decided 6.15 on top of that which is 129.15 etc etc it's really simple another good one to know is 5% which you can easily work out from 10% because five percent is quite easy, to, you know, quite useful sorts of percentages. How do you work out five percent? You just work out ten percent, and you halve the ten percent. You get five percent. Easy peasy. Anyway, um, what should I say next? Let's talk about these fractions, decimals, and percentages. Uh, really important because we, especially the the decimal stuff, we use it all over the place. Okay, for the more intelligent questions. So, how do I convert my 13 out of 100 into um, a decimal? Well, 13 out of 100 into a decimal is really simple because that means 13 divided by 100, which just means 0.13. I could actually jump straight from here to there because 13 over 100 means 13 percent just by definition because percent means out of 100 right so 13 over 100 is 13 percent or I can convert from a decimal which is really easy to see 0 0.13 basically is 13 percent if it was 0 0.03 it would be 3 percent okay now if you have a fraction that's not out of 100 well 3 out of 20 is the same as 15 out of 100 times top and, top and bottom by 5 you know so that's that 15 out of 100 is um, again very simple to do 15 divided by 100 is 0 0.15 or 15 out of 100 is 15 percent sometimes you don't have a fraction which is over 100 so you just have to be a bit more creative maybe do a bit of long division 5 divided by 8 long division 0 0.65 easy peasy or I mean if you don't know how to do that just go to the website here and look for division or something um, or you could do five eighths is actually four eighths plus one eighth okay and four eighths is really easy because that's 0 0.5 and one eighth is really easy because it's half of a quarter which is 0 0.125 so 0 0.125 plus 0 0.5 is 0 0.65 Again, this is a really interesting one because you can really compare how to get decimals to percentages. That six, that six means sixty percent. That two means two percent, and that five. Think about it in like columns. That means tenths of percentages. So five tenths of a percentage. So zero point five. So sixty-two point five percent is the same as zero point sixty-five as a decimal. Now, all that comes into use for increasingly as we go into harder questions, okay? So, t let's look at this. 12% of 60, well, 12, these are calculator type questions. So, 12%, it can be written as 0 0.12. So, if you want a percentage of something, that of turns into a times. So, 12% of 60 is written as 0 0.12 times 60, which is 7.2.